So we have this shooting guys in Texas that has taken place and of course we've got a lot to get into because it's just completely sad that this has obviously happened. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali, hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again, it is daily and consistent content. Let's get straight into this video, bringing you this video from Manhattan, New York. I'm currently guys in a hotel, hence the lighting situation, the fact that it's very orange, so just bear with because I did not, did not bring my ring light with me on this journey trip to New York. But we gotta get into this guys where, you know, we have seen, where we've seen that unfortunately 21 people have passed away, which includes several children guys. Um, and this story is absolutely horrific. 19 students guys, a teacher and one other adult has passed away after shooting Tuesday at an elementary school in Uvalde. Um, it seems that this man, you know, um, has been gunned down himself and a responding officer has done so. The shooter has also shot his grandmother, but she had survived the attack. Now, this is crazy on so many lengths and a lot of people are shocked by this. Um, I feel like gun licensing, you don't even need a gun license anymore. I believe in the state of Texas, correct me if I'm wrong, which is a problem within itself. America having guns is a problem within itself. You guys are very weird when it comes to that. What I find very interesting is that Americans, I believe, are very desensitized to shooting, not all of them, uh, because, you know, when we hear about this in the UK, we're just shocked. We're like, what the hell has happened? But, you know, gun crime and shootings are very common in the US. Now, what's even more sad is that, you know, ICE were even present. Why are you present? Parents can't even identify if these are their children who passed away because ICE will take them away into immigration detention facilities. The country is so messed up, guys, when it comes to gun laws, when it comes to gun crimes, and when it comes to specific crimes against, you know, minority groups of people. It's absolutely shameful. But the question that I find very interesting that people are also voting is that, you know, why would, why are people shocked that this is how, you know, America can treat their children? Look how they're treating children over in the Middle East. Look what they, they did to brown young kids in Iraq, in Afghanistan, how they treated them in such, such a disgusting, rife manner. And the same thing is happening within their own country. And people are shocked and dumbfounded by how this could happen in America. No, beloved, this could only happen in America because America is an absolute mess of a country, also a third world country, a country that, you know, people struggle with in so many ways, um, whether it be healthcare or whether it be, you know, shootings that take place. The fact that people don't even need a license to even carry a gun in Texas is insane. The fact that people are even carrying guns to me is insane. Doesn't happen in Australia, doesn't happen in the UK because we don't, we, we have proper controlled laws when it comes to stuff like this. And for those who may be a minority, oh, you know, we're the sensible ones with guns, that doesn't matter because look what I'm discussing. Look what we're talking about. 19 children have passed away. Parents have dropped their kids off at school and now are going back to identify them to see if these are the children who have passed away. Now these bullets, guys, I wanna really get into how messed up this is. Bullets like this are, does, are designed to kill human adults. You can't even imagine what this has now done to a child who isn't a fully formed adult and how they have stood no chance. Not only is that this op um, killer, I believe, comes from you know a Latin descent, they're now going to spin this story into a way of inducing more ICE detention facilities, throw them around and um, leave um, throw them out the country, build the wall. These racist narratives and are going to run, 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 run. Look how they're going to spin this, spin this, and spin this. Look how this is going to be in the headlines twenty four seven. But when it comes to a white shooter in Buffalo, it's already. People don't speak about it anymore. It's been moved on. And that shooting happened, what, less than two weeks ago. And then we have another shooting like this as well. Guns need to be taken away from people, period. That is my. That is what I believe. And that is what a lot of outsiders believe. We know that guns and Americans have a very weird relationship. But outsiders, we find it to be very weird. Doesn't make any sense. And some of you as my subscribers might even disagree with that statement of mine as well. But I don't see why people need them because we have situations like this that take place and shootings are very common in the US. Most of them are not even documented in the news. The fact that this person has gone into an elementary school and has killed children is shameful. The children of America are not protected. But why were people surprised? Because several American you know, armies, governments, presidencies have been killing so many children abroad. Then we have Obama speaking up about the 
you know, nature, protectiveness, innocence of the children that have passed away, but you've literally been bombing Yemen, Yemen kids, whether it be even East Africa and Somalia as well. These children don't matter to you. It's all selective and it's shameful and it's sad because kids are kids everywhere. And these presidency or these people now choosing to have a moral compass and choosing to speak up on these matters, you are delusional. Every single one of you, especially people like Obama, doesn't make any sense to me as to why you're running around doing up statements about elementary children passed away when you're out here and you used to be killing children. They just weren't Americans, therefore they didn't matter. Sad story, guys. Condolences to the families who are going through hell right now. This is a horrific nightmare, and there's only one way for these nightmares to stop, and this is just to take guns away from people in America in the US. That is the only way. There's no other option, no other way, guys. I don't see anything else that makes any sense. And it's sad that this is taking place. Absolute mess of a story. Mess of a story. 21 people have passed away. A teacher has passed away. Another person has passed away and 19 children have had their lives stolen away from them at such a young age because they were not protected. Because the children of this country, guys, whether they've been in a good place right now or you know in a bad place right now, wherever they are in the world, they're not protected. They're, they're not protected. It's absolute mess. Condolences to the families, guys. My condolences.